Hi guys, this is Kalura Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the color work in the Alpine Adventure scarf. So if you look here, you can see that we went with one main color, which is navy, all the way up the length of this scarf, and then we just have bands of color work with two contrast colors. We went with red and cream. So I'm going to show you how to manage those contrast colors and then carry the working yarn all the way up the length of the scarf. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna create these cute little bobbins for our contrast color one and two. And my first contrast color is going to be in this colorway. I have the skein here. It's Knit Picks High Desert Worsted Weight in the color Wildfire. So that's going to be my contrast color one. And then my contrast color two is going to be the colorway Cottonwood in the same yarn. And then as far as my main color, it looks navy in this colorway, but it's actually the colorway Forge in that Knit Picks High Desert. Okay, so as I said, we're first going to create those little bobbins. For this particular scarf, we want bobbins that are about four yards long. That will give you enough yardage to cover these first two stripes of your color work. And then you can carry that yarn up the side, actually this side of your scarf. Let me get that into frame. You can carry that contrast color one up as you're working the contrast color two and the main color until you're ready for your next contrast color one stripe. And for this particular pattern, we're actually using the portcullis stitch from Barbara Walker's um, Treasury of Knitting. And I think it's the second treasury, I believe. So it's a really pretty stitch that actually makes it look like you've done color work when all you're doing is working two rows in each color and just switching off. You'll have a purl side row and then a knit side row. So I'll go over that stitch as well in this video. But first we want to get those bobbins going. So we're gonna take our contrast color one from our ball of yarn here. And I'm just gonna measure out four yards uh, approximately. What I like to do is pull it out with my right hand all the way out until my arm is straight. I can't show you on the video here, but you'll pull it straight out. And then the ball end, you're gonna keep in line with right about your nose. That's right about a yard. And you'll wanna make sure not to pull your yarn too tight, especially with a yarn like this, we have a nice tight twist. And you can see if you pull, you're gonna get a false reading on your yardage. So make sure that you keep it pretty loose in tension as you're measuring. So we have one, two, three, and four. So that's about four yards. And I'll cut that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my contrast color two yarn. Again, keeping that nice and loose so you're not stretching it too tight and getting a false reading. Okay. And I'm just doing my contrast color one and two here so I can show you one section of the color work on the scarf. So I'm gonna begin with my wildfire colorway. And before we do this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a crochet hook handy. It just makes it easier to create this little bobbin. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to place the tail here between my index finger and my middle finger, and I'm just gonna pinch it, just leaving probably three inches. Then I'm going to take the working yarn and rotate around front to back and I'm just going to start winding. You can do this tight or loose, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to wind 
going from left to right, bottom to top, until I feel like I'm probably halfway through the strands. And then I'm going to switch directions and go bottom to top from right to left. So I'm just creating a little X shape. Essentially what I'm doing is making a mini hank. And I'm gonna stop when I have probably six inches left. And I'm simply going to go between these two fingers over the top of that bobbin or that X. And this is where your crochet hook comes in handy. So I'm just gonna pop that crochet hook up so I can catch that yarn. It can be a little fidgety. There we go. So I've pulled it to the underside of those fingers. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the top. And now using that crochet hook again, I'm just gonna catch that first strand of yarn and then hook that tail and pull it through. And then what I like to do is stop and pull nice and tight and then take the end of that tail and just pop it through that loop that you've created. And then you can pull tight. Now we have that secure. And then we'll just pull the little bobbin off of our fingers. And then we have created a center pull bobbin. So if you look, that just comes out effortless, effortlessly. So there's our little bobbin. And I'm going to show that to you again. I'm going to go a little faster this time. Okay, so we've got our contrast color two, which is the cottonwood. Again, you're going to leave yourself a little tail pinch. And I'm going to try to leave a little space here as I'm wrapping. That way I can get that hook in between. There we go. Okay, and again, hold that little tail so it doesn't get caught up in your bobbin. Start wrapping the first part of that X shape until you feel like you're about halfway, and then you'll go the opposite direction. It looks like I got a little knot here. Okay, so you'll stop until you have about six to eight inches, and you'll go down. If you can fit your finger in there, that works. Pull that through to the back, and now we'll use our crochet hook. Pull that strand through. There we go. And of course you can use your left hand if you feel like that's easier. And I didn't pull through to knot it, but this should still hold pretty securely. And there we have our contrast color bobbin with the center pull. So that's how you create those little bobbins for your color sections. And once you've determined in the pattern how long you wanna make your Alpine Adventure scarf, then you'll know how many of these sections you're going to be working and how many bobbins you'll, you'll need for your scarf. Okay, so we have worked 10 rows in our main color, and now we're ready to begin our next color section. So we're going to grab our contrast color one bobbin and our contrast color two bobbin. Now, each time you make a stripe in this color work section, it's going to consist of two rows, beginning with a wrong side row. Okay, now we will take our contrast color one, find that center pole, give yourself quite a bit of yarn to work with. And now we're going to leave ourselves about a six to eight inch tail. And the first thing we're gonna do before we begin working with that contrast color one is we're going to slip the first stitch of our row purl wise with our yarn in front off the needle. Now we're going to insert our needle purl wise into the second stitch, drop our main color yarn, and once we have that six to eight inch tail, we're just going to make a loop. And we're just gonna pull that loop 
through that purl stitch. So we've purled one with our contrast color one. Now I'm gonna hold the yarn double stranded and I'm gonna work a few stitches with my contrast color one double stranded. This will just save you time weaving in ends later when you're done with your scarf. So I have that one purl stitch. Now I'm going to go in purl wise into the third stitch. But before I work that stitch with my contrast color one, I'm going to drop that bobbin and I'm gonna grab my main color and I'm going to wrap it around my needle front to back. And then I'm gonna take my double stranded contrast color one and do the same thing front to back. And while I hold that in place, I'm going to take the main color and unwrap it. And if you look, you can see what we've done is we've trapped our contrast color one. Sorry, I, we've trapped our main color with contrast color one. Now we can pick up that bobbin and complete our stitch that's double stranded. So complete that purl stitch, pull it off the needle, and then we're gonna purl two more stitches. So essentially, we've slipped the first stitch, which was still in our main color. We purled one stitch in our contrast color one, and then we purled three more stitches double stranded. And I'll show you how to work those on our return row. But at this point, you are done with that tail. And if you wanna keep it out of your way, you can even stop and cut that tail. So this is just gonna make it so that we do not have to weave our ends in when we're done with our scarf. It's just gonna be one fewer end that we have to weave in. Now we're gonna complete this purl side row by purling all the way across until we have two stitches left on our needle. Okay, so we've reached the last two stitches of the row and we're just going to purl those together. So our stitch count was 33 before we added this stripe. Now we've brought it down to 32 stitches. So you might wanna count your stitches to make sure that you did that row correctly. Now we're just gonna turn our work to the right side and we're going to work row two of the portcullis stitch, still using our contrast color one. So you'll slip the first stitch knitwise with the yarn in back and then our repeat's gonna start. We're gonna knit one, yarn over, knit one, all in the same stitch, then pull that stitch off the left-hand needle and now we're gonna do a slip one knit two together, pass slip stitch over. So we've done a two stitch increase in one stitch and then we've decreased three stitches twice. So that's our repeat. We're gonna do a knit one, yarn over, knit one, and then a slip, knit two, pass. And you're gonna work this repeat all across your row until you reach the last two stitches. So knit one, yarn over, knit one, slip, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. And if you get lost in your stitch pattern, if you take a look here, you can see these left leaning two stitch decreases all the way up. And then you've got these stitches that look like yarn overs right here. That's where your two stitch increase is gonna go. And then if you line it up over the left leaning decrease, you can see that you're going to be grabbing those three stitches and decreasing them. So right here, we've got that yarn over looking stitch with three stitches coming out of it. So we know we're gonna put our increase here, knit yarn over knit. And then the next set of stitches, you can see they're coming out of that left leaning two stitch decrease. So it's gonna be these three stitches worked. So slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. So there's our decrease. So we're just gonna work that across this row till we reach the last two stitches, but we're going to be careful when we reach those double stitches. 
increase. Okay, now we've reached our double stitches. So we're gonna slip one stitch and then we're gonna treat these double stitches as single stitches. So knit two together will look like knit four together. And then pass the slip stitch over. And then we have one stitch, two stitch, three stitch. So our repeat's not done. We did our slip knit pass. Now we have knit one, yarn over, knit one. Now we've reached the last two stitches, which we're just going to slip knit wise one at a time, place back on your needle and knit those together. So that's an, a slip slip knit in that, in the last two stitches. So now we've completed row one and row two of the portcullis stitch in contrast color one. Now, as I said before, we're on the wrong side of our row. So now we're ready to add in our contrast color two stripe. And we're just going to work that same two row stitch pattern. So I'm gonna pull out my working yarn from this bobbin, the center pull. And again, I'm gonna leave myself about a six to eight inch tail. Before I do that, I'm just gonna set it to the side here. I'm still holding my contrast color one yarn when I slip that first stitch purl wise. We're always gonna slip that first stitch purl wise on the wrong side rows. Now you're gonna insert your needle purl wise from right to left, drop your contrast color one, and now we're going to make that loop, leaving a six to eight inch tail. Place that on our needle and complete that purl stitch using contrast color two. Now we're gonna hold it together as we purl across, but before we do that, we're gonna insert our needle right to left into the third stitch, drop that yarn to the right here. Now we're going to pick up our main color strand and our contrast color. So just remember as you're working this color section, whatever yarn you're not currently working across the row is the yarn that you're going to wrap around your needle. Then you'll wrap your working yarn, contrast color two, and then unwrap those two strands. Now you can complete your purl stitch and then purl across, we go two more stitches here, and we've trapped those two yarns that we're carrying up our color section. So I have my slip one, my purl stitch single stranded, and then my three double stranded purl stitches. Now you don't have to do this, it's just something that I like to do to keep from having to weave in extra strands of yarn later. Okay, so just as before, we're going to purl across the row until we reach the last two stitches. Okay, we've reached the last two stitches of the row, and again, we're just gonna purl those together. And we've decreased our stitch count by one stitch. Now we'll turn back to the right side, and we will repeat row two of the portcullis stitch. So again, slip your first stitch knitwise, put the yarn in back, and we'll do our knit one yarn over knit one in one stitch, and our decrease slip, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. And we're gonna work that repeat I think I misspoke earlier. We're gonna repeat it to the last three stitches, not the last two. Because our repeat is starting with an increase and ending with a decrease. And again, when you reach your double stitches, you're gonna treat those stitches as one stitch. So we're ready for our decrease. So slip one, and then here's our two stitches, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. Now we've reached the last three stitches of our row. Remember this double stitch is a single stitch. 
Once we've reached the last three stitches, we're going to work a increase, knit one yarn over knit one, and then a slip slip knit. So slip one knit wise, slip the second one knit wise, place back on the needle, knit through the back loop. And these last stitches of the row are gonna feel a little loose, but you can simply pull on your strands to tighten those up. Just like so. So we're gonna to turn to our wrong side of our work. And again, I'm gonna keep all my yarn tails in the front. Okay, and I'm still gonna hold my contrast color one. Get that bobbin untangled. So just as before, we're gonna slip that first stitch purlwise and then insert our needle purlwise into the second stitch. Drop our contrast color one. Now we're going to be working with our main color yarn. So I'm just going to purl a stitch. Now I need to secure those yarns that I'm going to be carrying up the side of my scarf, which is the contrast color one and contrast color two. But before we trap it, remember you want your working yarn that you're currently working with to the right. Then we'll pick up these two strands and wrap them over the needle front to back. Now we can wrap our working yarn front to back and then unwrap the unworking yarns. And we've trapped those floats with our working yarn. Now we can complete that purl stitch in that, in that third stitch on our needle and simply purl across the row. Okay, we've re reached the last two stitches. Purl those two together. And now we can turn to the right side and work our second row of that two row repeat. Still using our main color. So slip the first stitch knitwise, increase and decrease. Okay, so I've reached my last three stitches of the row. And now I'm going to do my increase, knit yarn over knit, and then my slip slip knit. And I am done with the working yarn. So you can see here, I've done my two rows in my contrast color one, two rows in contrast color two, and then two rows in my main color. And as you can see here, we're ready to switch back to our contrast color two. And that's going to be done on the wrong side of our scarf. We're going to turn to the wrong side. Okay, that first stitch, I'm still going to be using my main color just to slip the first stitch. Now I'm going to place my needle in purl wise through the second stitch, drop my main color yarn. I'm going to hold it to the right. Now I'm going to be working with my contrast color one. I'm going to purl a stitch with contrast color one and then insert my needle purlwise through the third stitch. Now I'm ready to trap those two unworking yarns. As you can see, I'm dealing with a little bit of a situation here. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna drop, this is the color I'm gonna be working with, contrast color two. But I wanna drop it to the right of these two strands that I'm not working with. I'm gonna wrap the needle with those two strands. Now I'm gonna wrap with my working yarn and then unwrap with the strands of yarn that I'm not working with. Now I can finish purling that third stitch. And I'm gonna purl across the row. Okay, we've reached the last two stitches of the row. Let me just purl those together. Okay, now turn our work to the wrong side. 
and we'll work row two of our portcullis stitch. And as you can see, we have completed our second contrast color two stripe. So we are done with that yarn. Now we can turn back to the wrong side of our work and we're ready to begin our final two row repeat of our contrast color one. So that is right here. Okay, now the yarn that we're working with, again, I'm just gonna pull tightly on it so it doesn't go anywhere while I slip that first stitch purl wise, insert the needle into the second stitch, and drop that yarn now. Now we're going to be working with our contrast color one, which is the red. I'm gonna purl that second stitch. Now I wanna trap the two yarns that I'm not working with. You can wrap both strands, then wrap your working yarn and unwrap the two other strands. So again, that just traps those floats. You stop and look here, it traps them behind our working yarn. But at this point, you are done with that contrast color too, and you can simply weave it in. But we're gonna finish our row with contrast color two by purling across the row. And now we're going to turn our work to the right side. And we'll work row two, still using contrast color two. Okay. So at this point, our color work section is complete. We have our contrast color one, contrast color two, our main color, back to two, back to one. So it is complete now. Now we will simply turn our work to the wrong side, and now we can begin our main color section, which is just 10 rows of that two row repeat. And this one, since I worked double stranded, I can cut that one. So really for each repeat section, if you're holding your yarn double, as I did with the first two stripes, you will only have two strands that you have to weave in when you're done with your scarf for each color section. So at this point, you're just going to pick up your working yarn, which is our main color. You're gonna slip that first stitch, and then you're gonna pick up we already have it picked up, our main color, and we're just going to purl across the row with our main color. Okay, so we've turned our work and we're ready to start our second row of our two row repeat. And again, we're just gonna continue using our main color yarn for 10 rows, just as we did down here. But that is how you create the port color stitch in color work and in your main color. I hope this technique and this video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.